What the hell is up? That was super aggressive. What's up? My name's Zach Longo. You probably recognize me. You probably don't. Maybe you do. Who the hell is this guy? Whether you recognize me or not is neither here nor there because you are here and I'm there. We are gathered here today because of one thing. You want to learn how to travel for free. Maybe you've seen a few of my videos. All right, babe, I'm going out with the girls. Why don't you wear the new dress I just got you? Really? Come on, babe. I think it looks so sexy. Okay. Not those videos. These videos. Sometimes it may not be for free, but I can definitely show you how to save money and travel for cheap. There's two parts to this. One, if you are a social media influencer, I can show you certain ways to travel for free. And two, if you don't have a social media following and you wanna learn, I made a video on how to do that. But if you have no interest in being a social media celebrity, if you wanna call it that, I am going to give you some tips on how to travel the world for free as cheap as possible if you can't do it for free. Let's get to the point. None of these companies I'm about to mention have paid me or endorsed me, although I wish they would. My email's in the bio. If anybody from the following companies wants to endorse me, couchsurfing.org, basically like a website, kind of like an Airbnb where you can crash with a local for free. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got about that. There's the Airbnbs of the world. You can Airbnb, you can rent someone's room, entire apartment, house, mansion, couch, tree house, tent, air bed, whatever you want. Use my code in my description and get $35 towards your next Airbnb, which is great because sometimes Airbnbs are only like 30 bucks. Hotels, I use a website called traveltap.com. Traveltap is amazing. It's basically like a Costco or a Netflix for booking hotels. You pay a membership fee for the year. It's like $100 and you get access to these wholesale hotel prices. And I've done my research on this. I've gone to book hotels and compared the exact same date, hotel room. Everything was the exact same and Traveltap was literally some cases a thousand dollars cheaper than Expedia or Priceline. A lot of people don't know this Expedia and Priceline own like kayak and fucking canoe and paddle boat and whatever you want to call it. They own everything. Traveltap.com, the cheapest way to book nice hotels and save lots of money. You're welcome. Also, use code ZAKZAK to sign up for free. You can avoid that membership fee if you start booking today. Amazing technology that I use a lot too is called Skip Legged. Skip Legged. -de. Stop. Skip leg is amazing because it allows you to search flights that have layovers. So say I want to go from LA to Toronto, Canada. The way skip leg works, it's all based on layovers. And your destination is a layover. So you hop off the plane during the layover. Does that make any sense? I will put that in a skip leg. It'll give me the flights from Los Angeles with a layover in Toronto that ends somewhere else. So I will hop off during the layover in Toronto. The only catch with skip lagged is you can only pack a carry on because you can't check a bag and then get it off the plane on your layover. The thing that I noticed with a lot of my friends that travel is they never make frequent flyer accounts with airlines. I have a frequent flyer account with Air Canada, Delta, American Airlines, Lufthansa, Alitalia, Air Jordan, Air Mattress, Air whatever the fuck. Always have an account every time I book a flight. I enter my username and I stack those points. Those points for every flight I take add up down the line. I I may use them when I want to travel somewhere and get a free flight. Why does nobody do that? I don't get it. And another cool thing, companies like Alaskan Airlines just bought Virgin America. Virgin America is dissolving. You can now sign up as an Alaskan Airlines member and get 10,000 free points. That's basically a free flight. Go do that. Go sign up. I'll wait. Another way too to get points with an airline is to take out a credit card with that airline. They will automatically give you like 50 to 60,000 points just for taking out a credit card. Obviously, you know, having too many credit cards is not good for your credit. I'm not the guy to talk to about that. I'm just trying to get you to travel from free, from A to B. Don't ask me about your credit. Whether you take out a credit card with an airline or not, who gives a sh**? You probably have a credit card anyways. You should talk to your bank and see what the bonus points are for every dollar you spend on food and travel. You can put that towards free flights and free hotel stays. If I am telling you this for the first time, wake up. If you're like me and you take beautiful photos, <laughs> incredible videos.
you can use that to your benefit. You can offer your services to hotels, to airlines. You gotta get in contact with the right people. Maybe it's the media department, the press department, the hotel manager, and offer your services in exchange for accommodations. I've done it tons of times with all sorts of hotels all over the world. Another thing you can do if you're into this is you can go on Craigslist and you can do a house swap with somebody. You can literally trade apartments with somebody in whatever destination you're trying to go to. Maybe if you live in like buttfuck Idaho, you're not gonna have an easy of a time finding a person to swap as if you lived in like a nice loft in Los Angeles. Well, Airbnb is always a good idea. You can rent out your apartment while you're away and make some extra money, put it towards your trip. Just hide all your valuable shit so nobody steals it. You can also do things like rent out your car on services like Turo. Turo, somebody will pay you whatever fee you set. It's like Airbnb for your car and that company covers the insurance and they take a little bit of the profit. Fly me to the moon. Let me play. And this part of the video is for the social media influencers. If you have no idea what that means, you probably want to skip over this part. But if you do, you have a following like me. If you don't follow me already, make sure you do and like and subscribe at Zach Longo on all social media. One of the easiest ways to travel for free is to be famous. Internet famous, Instagram famous. But also if you don't have a social media following and you're still watching. I made a video about how to become social media famous and you should probably watch that too. Right there, you're welcome. If you are a social media influencer, these are the steps that I used to get free vacation, free accommodations from hotels and airlines. I basically created a template that works for myself. Maybe something similar will work for you. Basically what I will do first, depending if it's an airline or a hotel chain, I will Google that chain's contact information. Sometimes I go through the site, it has like a form that you submit. I don't really like to do that. I'd rather like write contact, email, and pull up somebody's direct email. It works for me a lot of the time. And I'll write something like, Hi, my name is Zach Longo. I'm on an MTV show and have become a social media celebrity ever since. I travel the world and document my adventures to all my fans. I have either stayed or would love to stay with you guys. I am emailing you today about possibly collaborating with whatever the company is for my next trip. I have 160,000 followers on Instagram, 250,000 on Facebook, and 16,000 on YouTube. All of my videos have over 100 million views online and my photos average anywhere from five to 10,000 likes. I've included links to my socials below. I'll include some YouTube videos, all of my social media pages. And maybe some screenshots of some pictures. When I write out this email, and keep in mind it changes depending on who I'm emailing, I use special taglines. Social media celebrity, millennial, famous, collaboration, engagement. These buzzwords are key. These old ass people, their boss somewhere along the lines have used a bunch of those words to them. We need to start doing social media collaborations. We need to get more engagement. We need millennials. We need famous people. We need these assholes on Instagram. I'm telling you it works. And another tip I would give you when you're planning a trip like this and you want to get everything for free is you have to do it at least a week or two. I would suggest more than two weeks in advance because these people have to run it up the chain. They got to get approved by their bosses and it never works like the day of or the day before. I've tried it many times. They always say no. Sucks. But I've done this before, I did it with multiple hotels, I traveled all of Thailand and Europe doing stuff like this. It works, I'm telling you. And same rules apply with the airlines. A lot of airlines will give you free flights in exchange for a shout out on your social media. It's eyeballs at the end of the day. If you have good engagement and a decent following and you take pretty photos or make great videos, these companies want to get in touch with your fan base. It's a fair trade. I would usually end it with, I would love to collaborate with you guys, post on my social media to all my followers in exchange for accommodations. Or whatever it is you're trying to get. The same thing applies for clothing, food, lodging, whatever the fuck you need. It's pretty much it. Hopefully, this video has given you a little nugget of knowledge for your next vacation or trip or whatever it is you're trying to do. I don't know exactly why you came here, but probably for a free trip. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Zach Longo. Follow me on all social media, at Zach Longo. Make sure you like and subscribe. And go check out my beautiful travel videos. They are really dope. And maybe they'll inspire you to go somewhere that you never planned on going before because now you can go for free. Ciao. Enjoy. Large.
Thank you.